Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Now, yeah, you'll notice I am in a slightly different like, location today. I like, just thought that I would come down here because I've got like the house set to like myself to film a, another vinyl update video. Um, like, so yeah, I haven't got like, um, well, I say this, like, I like the store like off, like most of these updates. Like, I haven't got like too much like to show. Um, like, because I have like tried to like slow down like my buying like since like, I got back like from like America. So most like all the stuff like in this video like is, is I saw like pre-orders like off like new albums like which came out like over like the last few months because it's been like a great like month like and a bit like for like new records like for me personally. Um, like there's also like some like sort of like used stuff like, as well as a few like quite special like online purchases like which I'll keep for the end of the video. So yeah, I'll just get started. The first couple up are from a package which my great friend Vinyl Collector James like sent over. First one, um, we actually see together like it was on like it, um, it was on like my last day like in like America. So like, so like all like my cases and like everything like were already packed up. So in like this store like we seen like this record and like James like and like James like offered like to like get it for me and like sort of like ship it over like with a few like other things. So it was a uh, different and Tilbrook's album here. Um, I think just self titled like from 1984. So like these are like the guys that are from Squeeze. Like, this was after Squeeze that like, broke up originally in 1982. So this came out like a few years later, and a, a few years later, and like this was like, an absolute flop. Like this record here, like like didn't do like anything like chart wise and chart wise, and like consequently Squeeze like, actually like got back together like only like a year or so like after this one came out. You will notice as well this is actually a still sealed copy. Like I have opened it though, but it isn't a like sort of like reissue like of like any kind like it's just like a like original one they've had basically like lying about like unopened like since 1984 like quite fascinating really and this is the vinyl record here just on A&M records so like a nice one here one I've never seen like all like vinyl like before like I see it like in like this store like in Houston so a pretty nice pickup here at uh, Different and Tilbrook. Another one which James sent over was I believe a double which he had like in like his collection is by band The The and it's their album Soul Mining I believe their debut Album. This one came out in 1984, it says, like, on at the back here. So the only thing what I really know about The The is that like, Johnny Marr, like, once, like, played, like, guitar with them, like, I think, like, shortly after, like, the Smiths broke up. Like, so they must be, like, a pretty good band, like, if, like, Johnny Marr, like, played with them. I still, like, haven't played this record, though, like, I have to, like, admit, like, but, like, I am, like, quite keen to do so. Like, I will, like, leave it, like, aside like, to play, like, after this video. Just a nice copy here, like, what James had, like, with the original printed, like, inner sleeve, and it's on Epic Records. There. So that's um, The Other's album uh, Soul Mining from 1984. But the main one which James was sending over was a um, exclusive pressing of Paul Simon's latest album In the Blue Lights. This is a Bonds and Noble exclusive pressing which is only available like in like America. So James had very kindly like offered like to get it for me and like send it over. So yeah like I was like very grateful like off like him like for that. And like I must say I haven't really talked about like, this one too much. I wasn't really I wasn't really like all all, like, that excited like, about like this one I mean like it was very much like, sort of, like overshadowed like by Paul McCartney's Egypt Station which came out like the same day but this is quite a nice like collection like of like sort of like redos like from like his like solo career like but it's all sort of like it's all sort of like um, lesser known tracks like sort of like deep cuts like songs which Simon like felt that like he didn't get like quite right like first time so this is a lovely pressing like lovely pressing gear like on um, a nice translucent blue vinyl so yeah like and um, thanks to James for sending like not only this one like but like the last two as well okay so next up I don't really want to talk about like for like too long like but like it is like the latest release by Paul McCartney like Egypt Station like which came out like the same day like as like Paul Simon's one so this is like the like deluxe uh, CD like which is like the one to get because the two bonus tracks are ab are like absolutely fantastic as well like as like the vinyl here like so as I said like done like a full length like, review so like if like you want to hear like more about like this record like there is like that to check out just like in like summary I think it is one of McCartney's very very best like solo records it keeps up like the very strong the very strong like streak like he's been on like since 2005's Chaos and Creation album like so yeah wonderful record there like from Paul McCartney. An album which came out like the following week was uh, Paul Weller's latest one True Meanings which I once again like I have like done like a full length like sort of like review of it so like I've got the vinyl as well as the deluxe and um, sort of CD book thing here and this is uh, again a wonderful album. Like, 
for me though, it probably like isn't like one like all my all time like favorite like well like, albums. Like it would probably fall like around the middle like of like his discography. But there are some lovely lovely tracks on here such as the Soul Searchers, Mayfly, Old Castles, um, um, Aspects, and White Horses. Like I would pick out like as like the highlights like what here. Like just a really really nice really. Really nice, really sort of like pleasant, like acoustic album. I'm very like eager to hear like where he's going to go like on like his next album. And next thing up is a Wee CD package like which came is a uh, Tom Petty and um, an American Treasure like a new like sort of like compilation like thing what came out. And like originally like I wasn't going to get this like however this is really really like reasonably priced like it was only sixteen pounds like for like this like four CD edition like so like I had to get it really like you get like a nice mix like of like unreleased stuff, some live things, like a few like sort of like alternative takes and that, like from like right throughout like his career. And like this is a lovely, lovely like, little package. You just get like a book club which has details like about like every track, like a wee like write up like about each song as well as um, the CDs here. So there's four of them like in total. They all just on like this on this sort of like reprise label there. So this is a really, really, really like nice like CD box here. Like there is a vinyl set coming out. I don't think I'll get that. Like it's a bit more pricey. Like don't really need it. Like but like a 16 pounds, but this is like a must buy for me. The next thing was a pre-order and it's a Noel Gallagher's latest single, If Love Is The Law. Like I say that like, latest single, like it's from like last year's album, Who Built The Moon. Like whether like I believe like this will be like the last single from it. Like the reason why I like, got this one was because of the exclusive B-side alone on the road. And like Noel always tends to put really high quality B-sides and like alone on the road like is, and like alone on the road like is no exception to that. This is also the picture disc version like as well, um, like exclusive like to like his website. So this is a like really nice like sort of like collector's item here. No Gallagher's High Flying Birds. Another new album now. Like this one came out earlier like this year. I think like about like May like sort of time. And like it was one like where like I heard like the singles from it. Like I quite liked that what I heard. How I kept like sort of like putting off getting it. And um, it is the latest release from Blossoms here and um, their album Cool Like You. So I like really like this band. Like they're like a new group. Like this is like their second album. Um, like Manchester, like they're from like as well. Um, and like yeah, like they're just like really like, fantastic. Like I think, like I think, I think like one like the best like new bands like around. This is the deluxe edition like of the album. Like, so you get like the eleven tracks I like, got it as well as a full length like acoustic and um, like version like of the album. Like which I haven't heard yet, but I hear like it's like really great. And the package of this like is lovely. You get like a nice sort of gatefold to it as well as the two vinyls and I think also a book club as well with this um, so yeah lovely packaging here like and like a brilliant like album like as well highlights like there's a reason why I never returned to your calls and I can't stand it and how the world this last yeah there's just a lot of a lot of like really really like good quality songs in it and that's what one of the albums looks like so definitely one which will feature on my end of year best of list and um, blossoms cool like you the next drop is one which originally like I wasn't like going like to get like whether like I was really getting like into like this band's music so I thought that I would like get like their latest album like which also came out like in like the last month it is uh, Echo and the Body Men so Stars the Oceans and the Moon now this is mostly a collection like of like re-recordings like of like some of their biggest hits so stuff like Bring Up the Dancing Horses Lips Like Sugar, uh, Ocean Rain, The Killing Moon, like, so, like, lots of, like, really, like, great stuff on here. Like, whether, like, some, like, golf, like, recordings are slightly, like, redundant, like, they're very, sort of, similar, like, sort of, like, very, very, sort of, like, faithful, like, reproductions, like, all for the originals of the originals, which like, makes you think, like, what's the point, like, in, like, re-recording them? Like, the most successful ones, like, on here, like, are where, like, they try something new, like, with, like, the arrangements, so, like, the one that sticks out, like, a seven C's, like, where they sort of take away, like, the bass riff and, like, the, like, acoustics, and, like, very much just, like, strip, like, the song back, like, to, like, its bare components. You also notice that this is, like, the signed copy, like, so Ian McCulloch and Will Sargent signed it there. Like, they're, like, the only two, like, original, like, members, like, left. And, and this is quite a nice package as well, you just get, like, quite a nice gateful design to it and this is also the picture disc version so you get the lyrics on one side just a sort of plain blue thing like on the other 
And the picture disc this is lovely, like as well, I have to say. Just a really, really like nice, really, really like nice design. And like this wasn't too expensive, I just bought like from like, their like official, um, official like on my website. So yeah, that's Echo and the Body Men's The Stars, Oceans and the Moon. Okay, now another new album which came out like only like just like last week now was um, Elvis Costello's latest album, Look Now. So this is Elvis Costello and the Imposters first new album like in like 10 years like i believe like since like, that time like, he has done like an album with uh, with a hip-hop band as well as i think like sort of like sort of like solo sort of like country like record like as well but this is kind of like him like sort of like returning to sort of like this sort of like classic like sort of like pop like songwriting like which like he's like most known for and this is a brilliant album the song like absolutely absolutely like cracking tracks i've got even favorites are like underline and um, burnt sugar is so bitter Un unwanted number and um, to grasp and live. There's just a lot of like really like great quality songs in here. Not a massive fan like off at like, the cover though has to be said a little bit like little bit sort of like puzzling like there but the inner um, but the gatefold is absolutely lovely yeah just like lots of like um sort of like very sort of like homely like sort of like photos like off like the recording of it there's a few guest stars like on it like as well i believe like he co-wrote a few of these songs like with like burt Bacharach as well as um i think one song was co-written like with carol king which is very nice the other sleeve just looked like this and the vinyl itself is like this so just on like this sort of custom label it's quite a sort of like um pain like getting like this album though because i um originally was going to get it like in like hmv like like whoever like i went like on like saturday like after release and i didn't have a copy of it like at all like on vinyl like so like instead like purchased like it like on amazon and like when like it came it came like it was in shrink wrap like an FM, but like it only had like one like off like the vinyls like, so I had to send that one back, like, this came, like, the next day, and, like, it is, like, the full, like, 2LP, like, deluxe vinyl, like, which is what I ordered. Like, so, yeah, um, a very, very, very good, very good record here from Elvis Costello, Look Now, another one which would easily feature, like, on a best of end of year list. Okay, so that has gone through all of, like, the new vinyls, like, the pre-orders and, like, everything. So, um, I've got a couple, um, of, like, used, like, things, like, which I picked up, like, when, like, I was, like, at, like, a record fair, like, last, um, weekend. Uh, the first two items, um, like I said, like, are, like, from, like, that record fair. First one is an XTC item. This is the XTC 3D EP, which I believe, that like, was, like, the first ever, like, release it says 1977, like, on, like, the back of it, like, so you get the song Science Fiction, She's So Square, and Dance Band, like, on this one here. So, so, yeah, like, early, like, XTC, like, really, like, just one, like, for, like, the collection. XTC are now one of my absolute favourite bands, like, so I had to, like, get this one, just on the, just on the Virgin Records label for this release. Okay, so the next one was also from like that record fair. Like I picked up like the XTC one, and like I was just going through like sort of like an eighties like pop bin, and like I came across this, and um, which I seen it, and I thought that might be quite rare, like actually, like so like I like went off like to try like and like check discogs, and like it turned out like it was pretty much like the price, the price like which like they were like asking, like it was fourteen pounds for this, but it is the best of like REM like as you can see, and this is a fantastic fantastic compilation of basically like their earlier works um, um, and like REM yeah, like all oh, like a band of you like I really need to give like a bit more time to like so this is so this is like sort of like a great place to start like on them and um, this is in quite nice shape there's a little bit like off like sort of staining like on like the inner sleeve like but it really like isn't like in like too bad condition this is a um I think an early 90s release like as well like so that's why like when like, I see it see it like I was thinking and um, like I like didn't even know that this was ever put out like on vinyl like to be honest with you and um, like so right so yeah this is a like quite a nice one here like the best of REM. So those were the only two things like which I found like at like the record fair like so like I got like the bus like back into like Edinburgh and like went to the like and I like, went to like my favourite store like there like Unknown Pleasures it's called and, and like I got like a few things like as usual so I got um, House Martins um, 12 inch single so Happy Hour now I'm really looking for like their like debut records I think it's called Whole four London nil. Never seen it like on a battle before. I don't believe like it's particularly rare like either. Like it was a very like popular like sort of like eighties like album like that. But I've really not had like much luck seeing it like seeing it. Like so, I thought that a twelve inch single like would be good enough for now. So this is um, their song Happy Hour. On the back of it, you get a song called 
the mighty ship, which I believe like it's just like a like instrumental. Um, you've got uh, sitting on a fence, which is on the album, as well as a cover like of like, the Holy Song. He ain't heavy. He's my brother. And this is on um, nice sort of Go Discs label, which as a wee like aside, I, I believe was the label which Paul Weller was on, like during like the first part like of like his like solo career. So yeah, that's uh, the House Martin's Happy Hour 12 inch single. Another 12 inch single which I sort of like stumbled across, which again, I didn't ev even know like this was ever pre pressed like on like a 12 inch single, but it's a squeeze and cool for cats. And this is really lovely like artwork to it. Like I think that this should, like, should have been like the album cover, like actually, like personally, like I think. So that's that there. And then in the back, you've just like, you've just got these sort of like cartoony sort of drawings, like off like the squeeze members. And what makes this copy like even more like interesting is the fact that it's on a very nice, very bright sort of pink vinyl, which I thought it must be like a boot like that, surely. Like, but like, went like on Discogs, like, and like apparently, like, all like 12 inch singles off this, like, were on this sort of pink vinyl. And like, this, like, isn't like especially rare, like, either. And um, like, because this was like a very, a very, like, successful, like, very, like, big selling single, like, for Squeeze. Like, so yeah, like, this is like another, another nice one, like, for the collection. Cool for Cats 12 inch single. So another one which I got like, from like, that same shop was um, Echo and the Body Men's first album, Crocodile, Crocodiles, like one which I had been missing like for like a little like while now. Like a lot of people say that like, this is actually like their best album. Like, so like it is one like which I was quite eager to get. I'm not sure like if this is a if this is a original original pressing like a pressing I bought. This was a very very like, cheap copy of it. And um, like, I mean it isn't in amazing shape. There's a little crease like on at the back of it there, like a little bit like off like spine damage, but overall um a really really um like nice like sort of like um really nice and sort of like good value like find it just gonna like the original like inner like as well um, and it's just got the usual like echo and the body men and um, Kavona um records label so again one which i haven't heard yet like but like i will like leave aside because i hear this is a wonderful album came out in 1980 this one and like you might remember like from like, my last vinyl update, I said that I found a copy like of like the Cure's like disintegration um like in like the same shop, like a lovely like original pressing of it. And like they had a lot of like other original like cure stuff, like which like I didn't like pick up like on like that day. Unfortunately, most of it like had like gone like, but they still had um this, which I believe is a original copy like off the top, which I only paid like ten pounds for, which is a absolute like steal like off like a buy, uh, because original cure stuff like on picture records like tends to go like for quite high money. But this is a like nice copy, like I mean like it isn't like it isn't like mint like it isn't mint like bad like any means. Like the person like who like last owned it decided to put like their like initials like on like the top corner like there and like also like on like the inner sleeve as well. But apart from that, I mean it is in pretty nice condition. And um, um, right, it's got like, the like original like, label, which I like love like the design of that. Once again, I haven't played this one, so I can't really pick out highlights. Usually, a lot of people like don't tend to think too much like off like this record. Like it isn't considered like one of the Cure's very best albums, but it is one which I'm quite glad to add like to my collection. And like continue like the trend like off like getting like original like cure items. So yeah, that's the top. Now the next two, I usually wouldn't buy like um reissues or that like in like HMV because they usually like tend to sort of like overcharge for them and like there's nothing like and like there's nothing like usually like in like their stores like what like you can't get like for cheaper like on like Amazon. Like but like every now and again they do have a sale on and like you can get some absolute bargains. Like so like these next two, I think we bought like at like different times like this one must be getting on for about like two or three like months now like about this but like i found this for i think about 11 pounds they wanted for it a uh, reissue of joy division's unknown pleasures an uh, absolute classic record which i've been missing like from like my collection like for far too long so i thought that finally like i would pick up this reissue of it here and like yeah absolutely brilliant record and um, you've got some classic chats here like she's lost control disorder and um, what are the ones like um, shadow play and um, like yeah just a really really like wonderful wonderful um album like from joy division and um, this is why like, i said that like, the reissue on i think it feels like 200 gram vinyl like although it's probably just like 180 and uh, just as like the nice like i think this is the original like label like what came with like as well 
Um, like, so yeah, like an essential al album, you know, like for anyone like into this sort of like post-punk, like sort of like new wave music, uh, Joy Division's Unknown Pleasures. And the next job was a bit of a blind buy. Like, I mean, like it's an album which I've heard like a lot of people like sort of like raving about, like usually like when like you see like these lists, like off like sort of like the best like 60s records, like all like the best sort of, like psychedelic albums. This is one that which like usually like appears like on like those lists. Like, so like when I seen it for like the pricey sum like of eight pounds like for like a brand new copy of it, I thought that I would take a chance on it. It's the album from Forever Changes by Love, and I um, really really love this album. I have to say, and um, I just think it's like really like sort of good quality, it's sort of like funky, like sort of side rock, just really nice, just really nice. And there's on the back of it there. Came out in 1966 so originally, I think. Nothing fancy like about this copy though, just as like a sort of um, protected like inner sleeve and it's on this Elektra um, records label. So yeah, like a really nice sort of like 60s album here, Forever Changes by Love. I thought a couple of records like by like a guy like who like recently got like a CD box set like off like his like solo stuff. Um, and like I really loved like the stuff like I heard like in like that like I've decided like to sort of like start like, slowly getting like his stuff like on vinyl now like it's like solo records it's um, Lloyd Cole and um, like so like I got this one online it's the Bad Vibes album and this is a little bit like rare this one is from 1993 so like, I had to get this one online like all like discogs but this is a lovely lovely copy of it though and this is a brilliant album like as well like and um, the songs of this which I think um, I was gonna say most people will know like like, no, well, probably the sort of casual fans like off like Lloyd Cole, like would be familiar with Morning is Broken and um, So You'd Like to Save Them All, both of fantastic tracks. And like, and like all the way through, like, this is a wonderful album, like, I have to say. Um, like, I mean, like, I love like his like stuff, like, with like the commotions, like, I've got like all of their albums, like, so far. So, like, the next like logical step, like, is to try and get like into like his solo career. And like, I have to say, it has been like just as good, like, as like the commotions material. So it has the original um, like inner sleeve with it, as well as this sort of like protective one like which the cell divide is, and it's on a sort of like old school like Fontana label. So yeah, this was a really nice like online buy, Lloyd Cole bad vibes. Next up is another Lloyd Cole item, like another one like which I got like online, um, like um, because this one was actually, I think this one was recommended to me like from like James Lobbin, like he got this like around about like the same time and like said that it was a wonderful, wonderful album. Like so like I decided like to get it like on eBay, like I think I got this one. It's uh, Lloyd Cole Standards. Now this is a lot more recent. This is from, I believe, 2013. This one came out, and this is brilliant. This could be like his best, like so solo record, like which I heard. I love the songs there. Uh, Woman Studies, Period Piece, um, Blue Light Mars, Opposite Day. There's just a lot of wonderful, wonderful stuff on here. The design like of this record though, like isn't anything like much though. Like certainly cover wise, like it is like a little bit weak. Um, and the inner sleeves like nothing much either, but I think this is on a nice sort of translucent sort of clear vinyl, so that sort of like makes up for it, like I guess. So that's standards by Lloyd Cole. Like although that title like, I might suggest like it's all like covers, these are all like original songs, and like for the most part they are all really really fantastic. Okay, now the next two are both reissues, which I must say like I had no idea like whatever like being like considered like for like reissue like until like they were like announced like on like pre-order like back in like August and like I must say like I was absolutely over the moon like when like these were like announced because they're both very very difficult like albums like to buy like the original copies of and um, they're XTC's last two albums and um, Apple Venus uh, Volume One and um, Wasp Star here. So yeah, um, I was absolutely thrilled that they decided like, to reissue re re these because the originals, I mean, like, they're not like impossible to get, like, but they go for like around about like, sort of, like 70 like, to like 100 pounds, which I give like, you can get like the same music like for like 17 pounds, like on vinyl, like you might as well like just get like the cheap like reissue here. Um, I mean, like, these aren't also sort of like, sort of like fully, like sort of like faithful to the original packaging, like for instance, like they're not gatefolds, like they don't like have like the same like inserts, but they are quite nicely done these though. Get like a sort of like an insert like with each that like, does have like the lyrics on it, as well as this sort of like, um, like nice like inner sleeve of like all like the XTC records, as well as a few like Andy Partridge like solo things like you can get like as well. So this is like quite nice. And like apparently like it says like, on here, like there'll be further releases planned for 2019 slash 2020. Like so like we'll see what like we're getting. Um, 
getting like but like it'd be great like if like XTC stuff like was like reissued on vinyl like but I'm very glad that like they went with these two to start with. So I've Apple Venus Volume 1, a brilliant, brilliant album, a very sort of like um, classically sort of like orientated by like, lots of like strings, like lots of like acoustic stuff, but still just great, great songwriting like from like Partridge like especially, but also like Colin Moulding's like still writing some great stuff. But I probably prefer this album, Wasp Star, which is a kind of like more like sort of like, more like, sort of like traditional like XTC material, but I think some of like the best tracks, you've got stuff like Playground, Stupidly Happy, We're All Light, um, The Wheel and The Maple, just a brilliant, brilliant song there. And like once again, this is just sort of like similar packaging, you just get like a slightly like different insert like with this one though. So I would recommend both these albums, they're both absolutely fantastic. Like a lot of people, like some people consider these XCCs like best records, like considering like they've also got Skylock in and like English Settlement, like in like their discography. I mean like that is high praise indeed for these two um for these two like wonderful albums. So now we're on to the last two and um, both sort of like quite special like online and um, purchases. And um, I think they're both from Discogs as well like actually. First one is a Paul Weller item. Now I think I still need to get um two two or three more like um studio records like from Paul Weller. Like, but this one like is actually like a lot cheaper than them. Plus you get three LPs. So it's the Fly on the Wall um, collection, which is B-sides and rarities like on this one here. So you get like three LPs of like, of the like, B-sides and Paul Wells B-sides, a bit like Noel Gallagher. Um, amazing, amazing B-sides. Like he just, like the fact that like he can like make brilliant records like in like, the 90s, as well as like fill like a singles and like EPs up with just like such great like, such great like material like to like equal quality that was really like quite like remarkable like so like that's like the first two discs and like the third disc like is all like cover material like which appears like all like a singles so the inner sleeves just look like so you get like sort of like um from a distance these look really like impressive like but close up they're basically just like a like collection like of dots and like the record's just on this sort of like um label thread a little bit tricky to get back into like the sleeves so but i've just got to be very very careful like around these ones and then this one is a sort of similar design. Like I just like love, I just love like the design like of this and again, more writing. And this is a sort of like um, covers album here. Like, so he does some great covers, a few, I think he does a Neil Young one, um, a couple like a Beatles ones, um, what else, a few like soul ones, like My Whole World Is Falling Down, I love that one. And um, like Waiting On An Angel, like, so yeah, it's, he's, he's, he, he does some great stuff like on here, like all, like all the B-sides like, from like his um, 90s era. Like, so I really wish actually that like he would put out like another collection like of like a similar nature, like covering like his more like recent solo stuff because again, like he's still continued to put out like some great B-sides. So that's a uh, Paul Weller fly on the wall. Okay, now the last one is a really, really special one. I didn't think like in like a million years that like I would ever get this one like on vinyl, like, but like on Discogs and um, it just so happened that like, one came up like at like a very good price. Like, it was in like the UK like as well like, so I just thought that I would like bite the bullet and like finally get it like I doubt that it would ever be reissued like on vinyl this it's a modesty album but it's one of his best it is you are the quarry here from 2004 like his sort of like very famous like comeback album so on here you get stuff like um Irish blood English heart and um, I have forgiven Jesus and um, first of the gang to good and um, First off the gang to die, let me kiss you. Like I believe like um, there was four top ten singles I got here and like Morrissey, I think I'm right in saying was the most successful singles artist like that year, like in like the UK. Just absolutely incredible comeback like he made like, with this record. I believe this was also the only record he done on this um attack records label here. Um like so like I said, like I would be highly doubtful, like highly doubtful like that this would ever get a vinyl reissue but just in lovely lovely condition like on this one here and you get the um the inner sleeve is just sort of printed like lyrics like on it and the record's nothing too special just looks like this but I mean, this is a fantastic, fantastic album, and like very, very, very lucky, like very fortunate to have um, to have this like on vinyl because because I know that this goes for absolutely like silly money like online. Like I just got like lucky like with this one basically. 
So yeah, that is Morris's You Are The Quarry. So yeah, so if you have enjoyed this vinyl update, I have like rambled on like for like quite a bit like in like, this video, but yeah, like I've got some um, like really like cool stuff like from that like from like the last like few months and um, like a lot of like new music, like a few that like, sort of like new stuff as well as a couple like of like really special and um, re really special like online like stuff, like stuff which like I never thought that I would ever be able to get like on vinyl. So yeah, um, it has been like a good it has been like a good like, vinyl update this one I think I hope you have enjoyed it as well and I will see you all next time for the next video goodbye so